SCADA stands for Supervisory Control and Data Acquisition, and it is another no-code toolbox which can be found in MatDeck. MatDeck SCADA can connect to hundreds of devices using their configuration forms, and from there, their channels can easily be used to send and receive data to and from the device using virtual instrumentation and visual aids instead of just numbers and code. As we can see in this example, these three instruments are used to display received information from the device, so are the digit meters and tanks. However, generators and other things such as sliders can send information to the device. MathDex Fada also sends and receives data to and from devices in real time. This means that any changes done in MathDex SCADA will immediately be impacted in the real world. This is just the panel of the SCADA toolbox. If we minimize this, we can see the whole SCADA toolbox here. Channels are used in MathDex to send and receive data. We can see all the channels in the SCADA here. If we would like to add a new channel, all we need to do is click Add Instrument tag. However, if the channel is for a device and is made using a configuration form, all we need to do is click Import Channel Tags and all the channel tags from the configuration forms will be directly imported. With the SCADA toolbox, all you need to do to record any data is to use the log button. Once you click it, all you need to then do is set a log file. This can either be a .txt file or a database file. And that's it. MathDeck will now record channel data and other necessary data such as the channel name or what the channel does automatically for you, all without a single line of code. You can also view and sort this data directly in MathDeck using the data section. All you need to do is enter a tag name and then click search. Just like Virtuman, even though MathDeck SCADA is a no-code toolbox, it may require some code for more complex scenarios. As you can see here, we have simple if and else statements that are needed for logic checks. However, the code is directly written into MathDeck's IDE. This means it comes with efficient and helpful features such as the decoder, but more importantly, auto-suggestions. This means that when you start writing any variable or function name, it will automatically suggest which variable is closely suited to what you have written, saving time and lots of energy and tedious work. Finally, the SCADA toolbox comes with a script rate manager, so you can either increase the rate of which the script is run, but also decrease it, and a start and stop button, which helps you control when the SCADA is on and when it is off. Now, a crucial part of every SCADA is how it can connect to devices. In MatDeck, this can easily be done using configuration forms. All you need to do first is connect to the device. From there, you'll be taken to the configuration tab. Here, you can export channels. This is done by selecting which input or output you would like to export, and then clicking the export option. From there, you'll be taken to the IO tab, and here you can enable the channels and use them. This is an entirely no-code process, meaning that no experience is needed to use this. Another good feature about MathDeck SCADA is how it can be used inside the document. This means that with the SCADA and the data being sent to and from the channels, you can use a plethora of functions, but also toolboxes to do exactly what you need to do. And this can all be found in one document, making it incredibly time efficient, but also easy to navigate and work. However, for those who will solely be using the SCADA, you can deploy it as a toolbox. To do this, all you need to do is head over to the toolbox ribbon and click the SCADA icon. Now you can use the SCADA independently and without the need of the MatDeck document as it functions exactly the same. That being said, a clear advantage of using it in a MatDeck document is that you can incorporate text. While this is a simple feature, it means that you can directly explain the whole system in one document, meaning that you don't need to explain it every time the document is shared, but rather they can read through and check the document every time. Features like this and the actual simplicity of setting up the SCADA itself makes it a must-have for any engineer or anyone who works with devices. To genuinely see how easy it is to set up a SCADA and link it to a device, all you need to do is show you how it's done. First, you'll need a new document to start from scratch. From there, all you need to do is insert a configuration form. To do this, you need to head over to the insert ribbon and then choose which configuration form works for the device you have. For example, the ICP DAS configuration form. And then all you need to do is insert it. Now we must enter the correct parameters so we can connect to the device. And then once we do that, all you need to do is click search devices. 
Then we choose our device from the list of devices which all fit the parameters. Once we do that, the form will start to load. Then we choose which import or output to export. Once that loads, all we need to do is select the export option. From there, once we click set, you can see the channel has been exported. Because of how simple it is, we can add a number of other channels in a matter of seconds. And then, before we can use the SCADA, we have to enable all the channels. Now, we can insert the SCADA as a form, or we can use it outside of this document. To insert it as a form, you need to go to Forms, and then find the SCADA form. And then you click the form icon, and click on the document, and the form will be inserted. As mentioned before, all you need to do to open it outside of the document is go to the toolbox ribbon and click the SCADA icon. Now all you need to do to connect to the channels is to click the import channels tag buttons. From there, we can choose if we want default instruments. Click yes if you need to set it up quickly. When the channels are imported, we need to enable them. This can be done by clicking the enable all tags or by individually ticking the enable tag on each channel. Then finally, we can either send or display information once we click the start button. From there, the scatter panel will show up, as you can see here, and the instruments will start reading. If we want to add any purely visual features, all we need to do is click this little triangle here. From there, we can see all the different types of things that we can add, such as pipes, tanks or valves. Again, all these features are purely visual and are not working instruments. To add working instruments, we need to click the Add Instrument Tag button. And as you can see, the instrument has automatically been added to the SCADA panel, as well as the SCADA Tag Manager here. SCADAs also are typically used for larger projects, and that is the main difference between using the instrument or using the SCADA in MATEC. As we can see in the SCADA, there is a genuine workflow and parts are connected to each other, whereas with the instrument, it typically tends to be standalone devices which are being read or which have been written to. Matic offers SCADA, VHMAN and several other no-code toolboxes as well as the Matic document itself all in one package making it incredibly useful but also incredibly affordable.